Well, good day, farmers. Welcome back to Farm Sim Saturday. It's Canada Farm Five, uh, multi fruits, of course. You know, we've been playing this for oh eight or ten weeks now, whatever it is now. This map, and uh, it's been good. I've enjoyed it. Um, but today, today we are going to do onions. Onions. My eyes are already burning. Awesome. And uh, I've got the field plowed. I had a plowed, actually, um, from last week from the cabbage. I don't know why. It was fine, but thread cabbage. But anyways, uh, we got uh, a couple guys waiting here to get seed, so let's get them going. Uh, this week for your mod of the week, I've got many mods of the week for you. I've got a whole bunch of different uh, grain carts, grain wagons, whatever you wish to call them. Uh, so this field here is plowed and the first fertilization done to it. So that is good. So what we're going to do is we, of course, still have to get our... Uh, I hope this tractor will pull this thing. It should. I'm running out of tractors, believe it or not. <laughs> um, what we're going to do is get the onions planting, get them going for this week. And uh, from last week, if you remember, we had all our our trucks to test that we never really got to. I had a an issue with, well, I had an issue with my hard drive and I was saving the files that we're creating right now, uh, recording this stuff onto my main hard drive and I didn't realize that it was darn near full. It didn't tell me anything and it just looked to me like it was still recording while all was good, didn't know anything was going on. I uh, went to render, render everything together Lo and behold, I found I'm um, missing like an hour's worth of footage. What's going on here? So I'm like, oh, that's not good. So I, th I went and looked at the hard drive after I th looked at a couple other few things. And I'm like, oh, man, I can't believe it that the hard drive was filled. It was right full, and it was not recording the extra footage. So I was a little bit upset with that. But anyway, so I do have two solid state drives, and uh, I've got the other one now that is, um, uh, the other one now is a lot bigger and it's got a lot more room on it. So my one hard drive that I was recording to is actually where my OS is, Windows 10, and um, it just, uh, it just, it's not a very big one, so uh, my backup drive is like a full terabyte, so we got lots of room there, so. Anyways, so we're going to do the big truck test this week, and uh, when we're harvesting our onions, I've got uh, five or six, seven, something like that, uh, grain wagon things to try, and uh, different sizes, different makes, different colors, we're going to need tractors for them all, we're going to try to keep it all into the same tractor, so it's decently able to pull it away, we're going to get them all set up. Uh, but while this is going, first of all, we're going to, that guy is, I, ooh, I think, oh, wait a minute, he's not doing onions. First of all, we're going to try our trucks out. So this is our Peterbilt. Oh, what model is this one now? I'm going to have to look at them all again, because I just don't remember. So, Peter. There we are. Peter built Cummins N14, I believe it is. So we're going to haul all these to, oh, what's this one called? Restaurant Plaza. Actually, this one is the one that's paying the most for red cabbage right now. Let's, let's double check that. Red cabbage is Restaurant Plaza, 1630. All right, so everything should be equally sized. Um, they're all full, these trailers. So we're going to see which one we kind of like the best. So far, this one's not terrible bad. And uh, I don't know, we'll, 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 I'll just keep them all, but, you know, like, uh, we'll see which one is, is we like the best. Uh, so far, this one's not terrible. Kind of surprised. Let's go in here. We'll get these dumped out. Yeah, 
and I apologize for last week for that footage. Uh, should be all right this week, though, because I got lots of room on this other hard drive. But see, uh, the problem I have is... Whoa, the brakes aren't great on this one, though. <laughs> the problem I have is um, that hard drive that I was recording to records all the files, and when I render files, it also re renders onto there, too. So, I mean, it... Uh, it gets filled up pretty quick before you realize it. If I don't, uh, you know, if I record, say, my Rust videos and I forget to delete those videos, well, then I got that problem, too, and I got those files on there as well, right? So, $326,000 from one trailer load of red cabbage. Wow! That is fantastic. So, we're going to see what we're going to make today. Money-wise, it should be pretty good. Three hundred twenty-six thousand dollars. Wow. This truck actually seems to haul pretty good. It sounds just like the stock truck that we have been using, but anyways, that's all right. All right. So I got a little bit of a thing I want to try when we get all these done too. I got the F two fifty with a dolly on it that I want to try to haul, haul, haul down here with this thing too. This thing really rips along. This one's really good. All right, let's uh, grab this one. I think this is the Mac. So this is a Mac. Mac? Is this the Mac? Uh, I think. Well, you know what? I'm not sure now. Lizard. This is the Lizard truck. Sorry. My bad. Uh, so Lizard garage. This is this lizard, so it's pretty much identical to the stock one. A little bit longer though, it's got a steering axle, triple axle. Fenders are a little weird there, but... So we don't have a really long area to run this one up, so let's go down the road here a little bit with it. So far I think the other one's got more power than this one. Now, it should be telling you, too, what power these things have. So, um, well, the first one was that Peterbilt. It's, uh, what was it here? 440 horse. Now we're into this Lizard, which is 620. So it's actually more power than the other one. So it should go better, you would think. But I'm kind of skeptical on that. So far, it's kind of sucking. <laughs> Train horn. <laughs> I think that other truck, the, the last one, was better. The Peterbilt hauled way better than this thing. Like nine out of times better than this thing. This thing's terrible. Oh, and the steering's really slow coming back on it. Oh, please don't hit me, train. Steering's really slow. Yeah, this one's terrible. I mean, it'll still work, but so far I like that other one better. It's taking forever to build up steam here. This is just embarrassing. Okay, I've had enough of that. I'm cutting over. <laughs> So, once we get all these done and settled back in, we'll uh, see where we're doing in the field there, but those guys will be a wee bit. We'll go buy all our uh, grain carts. I got a whole bunch of different ones. Oh, brake stop me, please. <laughs> got a whole bunch of different ones, five or six, maybe even seven of them, something like that. There's quite a few of them to do. And we're going to test them out <coughs> when we're uh, taking onions out today. So this is technically almost double mod of the week for you guys. So that's pretty awesome. Oh, I fell out of the truck. That's pretty awesome. Double mods, oh wow. Now I was planning on doing this, what we're doing now, last week. And you know what? I'm kind of glad I didn't because the hard drive had screwed up and I would have lost all the 
I would have done it and not realized that the hard drive is messed up and not recording, so <laughs> that would have sucked. So anyways, we got her this week, which is, that's a, kind of a good thing. All right, I didn't like this truck too much. Um, seems like it was kind of underpowered, but compared to the other one, which is like, this is like 200 horse more, it should haul it better. It's pretty good empty here, but loaded wasn't tremendously nice. All right, that guy's going to need a little bit of room to turn, so I'm just going to leave this thing kind of parked funny-like so he can get room to turn. All right, so we got to do this one here. And this is our Kenworth W990. W990 Kenworth. So let's have a look at its specs. Uh, where is he? Kenworth W990. So we've got a 540 horsepower truck here. Ooh, I don't like that horn. Anyways, she should haul pretty good. Sounds nice. This is actually not too bad. This is gaining speed pretty quick here. I like this one. So the Peterbilt and the Kenworth is good. So far, that other one sucked. That blue one over there. Yeah, this one's decent. I like this one. Seems to be hauling pretty good. Oh, it's even got a Jake break. That's pretty neat, actually. <laughs> I like that. So our test today also, I might add another trailer to each each truck. So we'll haul three trailers. I don't think I want to go any more than three, though. It's not too bad on the brakes on this one, either. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to want to go too much more than three trailers, but three might be kind of interesting. It'll give us a little low. It'll give us one, two, three, technically five more trailers to dump into for the onions anyway so and then for the cabbages regular cabbages next week it'll be good for that too so all right so that one wasn't too bad I was I kind of like that one with the train oh ho, 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 that was close <laughs> we almost got wrecked so I'm liking this truck this one's really good between the Peterbilt now and this one I think I like this one better it's pretty good so we got uh, well technically three more but one's a stock truck in the game to do yet. Uh, we've got our F-250 we're going to hook to it and see if it'll even move it. Nice. I like that. Okay. What is this one now? This is our Mac. Okay, so a Mac. Oh, I did the wrong screen again. A Mac EA9 Long Stacks. I have no idea what that means. Long smokestacks, I guess. And it is 850 horse. Yeah, come on, really? I don't think so. So this thing should... Ooh, she's going to do a wheelie. So far, it's a gutless piece of junk for 850 bucks, or 850 horse, sorry. Oh, she's definitely a Mac. Holy. Not too sure if this thing would handle three trailers. Oh, this thing's a pile. A pile of junk. 
Funny thing, you don't actually, well, here anyways, where I am, you don't see too many Mack trucks anymore. I don't know if they're still making them or not, but I know they've made them for eons. Like, uh, for instance, one of the old tractor shows we go to, they have an old Mack truck that's got chain drive on it. It's pretty cool. It's an old dump truck. And if you look through my videos on my channel there and look up a Paisley Steam Show, you'll see it on there. P-A-I-S-L-E-Y. Paisley. Paisley Steam Show. I've been to that multiple times and it's always been a good show, so I usually record it every time we go. But Okay, we're almost to... Well, we're over 60. It's taken forever. I wouldn't recommend buying one of these trucks. Whoa. For the 880 horse it was claiming. I don't think so. They didn't set that up right. That's probably just the uh, description of this mod. But anyways, that's all right. It's a uh, it's a lot a lot more of a big deal to be able to actually change the horsepower of of something on uh, on uh, the mods. It's not just going there. Oh, horsepower is 400. Oh, I want to make it 900. It does not work like that. You have to edit the code. Oh, it's not going to stop. That was full break. Terrible. You have to edit the code in the mod, and it's you have to know what code to add. And it's not just like you know easy simple numbers. There's multiple numbers, and it's like uh, I don't know what that means. So to edit it is not the easiest. Well, I can't say I like this Mack truck like at all. So this is probably the bottom of the list. But anyways. All right, we've made a fortune today in... We're going to get over $10 million here. Well, look, we got a f two more trailers to bring yet. And uh, we'll see what we, what we make. All right, so that's pretty good money. Oh, my God, the grave getting better now. Anyways, I think I just heard the train go by, so we should be uh, <laughs> changing paint this time around, which is nice. Well, she's pretty uh, pretty good, like, right now. Lots of juice. Loaded, though. It's terrible. Sounds neat, though. Quite a whistle there for the turbo. We got those loads to bring in yet. I guess there's only two trailers left. That's sort of right. Well, the brakes work awesome when, <laughs> you know, we've got nothing in it. It's like they almost, like, lock right up. All right, we'll leave this here. What I'll probably do is uh, get the stuff bought, bring it over with the little tractor with the dolly, and then uh, just hook it onto the to the front and hook the truck back on. But, okay. Now that one's emptied. We've got this one here. This is our stock truck that we've been using for a while. I don't know if this F-250 is going to be able to pull this or not, but she's a power stroke turbo diesel. We'll see what happens if I can get this locked in under here. Oh, uh oh. I, I don't think that's going to work. Come on, Ford. You can do her, bud. Oh, oh, he's trying. He's trying. Oh, 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 oh. Uh oh, oh, no. Well, if I can get her going straight, we might be able to do this. I want to try it with it. This one's empty, too. I'll just do a wider turn here. We got her all squealing anyways. All tires are ripping. <laughs> as best as I can. It's pretty heavy. Crap, 
I did that all on its own. <laughs> if I can get her straightened out and just keep her going straight, we might be able to pull this off. If I can keep her going straight. Oh, I think I hit the curb there. We might be sunk. Oh, no, we're good. We're good, I think. <laughs> I wonder if one of the helper springs on the back. Oh, see, if I let off, it does that. Awesome, it was leaving like tire mark. <laughs> Just trying to yank it there. Uh, this would be me trying to pull my travel trailer in the summer here. <laughs> if I let off here, it just carves it right to the, because the front tire's hardly even touching, right? Got a little bit of steering there, but. Oh man, I'm gonna have to let off here eventually. Oh no, there she goes again. That's not good. I, no way I can stop that either. <laughs> oh no, we might be in trouble. Oh, oh, come on, baby. Push her back. Push her back. Come on. Oh. That is just not happy. Now if I can get the truck straighter that thing up again. Wish I could hook something to the front. Give me a little bit more front weight. <laughs> Come on, baby. Actually, I could put a snow plow on the front of that. I don't have those mods in right now, though. So. Okay, this is just, for some reason, just not working. We almost got it there, though. So you know what I should do? I'm gonna put my cruise control way down. And it only let it go so fast. Might stand our control a little better. Oh, stop honking at me. I know I'm taking up the whole road. What do you expect me to do with this? <laughs> oh, this is not going as planned. Then I gotta try to get turned into there. Oh, man. And this guy's gonna be right in my way. Oh, oh, gosh, that was a hard fall. <laughs> wow, that really hurt. <laughs> oh, no, losing her again. Darn it. I should unhook the one trailer, maybe. baby come on baby we're almost there we're almost there she's pulling oh no I lost it again
chassis doesn't want to hook onto there. Okay then. Are you kidding me? I'm seriously not on there enough? No, really. I don't think I can pull it off of here. Uh-oh. Well, let me try unhooking the other trailer. Oh, not that one. Still too heavy for it. Holy jumping. Whoo wee. That's a lot of work. Let's see if we can get this guy at least pulled on here. The other guy will have to turn around, I guess, somehow. I imagine these things will probably be fine once they're empty. close, but like this is such a pain. So I won't be using this again. <laughs> Way too much weight for him. It doesn't even want to dump here anyways. Oh, it was dumping. Hang on. It just didn't tell me. There, that'll be a bit lighter now. Hopefully. Yeah, now she's good. Now we gotta fight this one again. Uh, okay. Not really looking forward to that. I don't know how I'm gonna get these things hooked back up. No, that's just not gonna work. Okay, too much, too much, too much pain in the butt. <laughs> So, let's take this guy off. Go grab some muscle. Looks like those guys are doing pretty good plant there. Let's have a look see here. Oh yeah, they got a bit of work to do, but not too bad. Yep, just the F-250 this could quite handle that. We got her up there though, I must say. We got her right to the dump spot there, but just too much, uh, too much weight for it. Well, that's all right. He did pretty good. liking it so much. All right, let's get rid of the stuff. So that should be all everything emptied do believe. So, we'll see what our grand total was for today. After this is all gone out. Eh? All 
right. How much did we do in cabbage? $3.2 million in cabbage. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. All right, see if we can get this guy hooked back onto here. There we go. I don't know where the train is. I don't see him coming, so that's good. Yeah, so what we'll probably do is buy the extra trailer and um, the extra dolly that we're going to need. And I'll just use the F-250 there to bring stuff around whenever we get to that point. It should be not too long after we get done here, though, because we're going to need to... Um, this organized here for when we get our harvest going. Alright, so we'll pull that ahead. So we're going to need, uh, let's see here, we're going to need one, two, three, four, five more trailers. Okay, so let's go buy them. Uh, trailers, where do they go now? Uh, okay, so we need uh, one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll need dollies. Um, should be over here. And then we're going to need another five of them, I think. One, two, Oh no, wait a minute. Yeah. Four. Five. Okay. That is the plan. Okay, so these guys are pretty much right in competition here. It's kind of neat. I'll let them sort out whatever they're going to sort out there, but let's get the. Uh, I guess I only needed four dollars because I got one here. But what we'll do is we'll go and pick up the empty trailer with the dolly. And then uh, take it over to the truck. We'll add another trailer to each truck. give us five more trailers to dump the onions into and we shouldn't hopefully have to take so much to uh, in just the grain bins alone all right so we'll take this guy over here and what we gotta do is uh, unhook the dolly going to take us a minute or two. Oh, already messed her up. All right, that's good. We can hook the truck to this trailer. And there we go. All right, now we've got three trailers on that one. So we've got a lot more work to do here. Let's have a look at these guys. They're probably getting all bunked up.
it actually shut down. I'll let him finish both of those, I guess. Um, all right, we'll work on the next one here. We're, we made a lot of money today, but we're going to be spending a lot of money, I think, too, because we got to. Well, we already spent out on these trailers, and we got to get uh, all the the uh, grain carts going too, which is going to be a few. That's funny how these came in and sitting there. the other guy here. Let's get him hooked up. That's good. Now we'll hook up. Oop, stuck. I'll hook up this guy. And hook up that guy. All right. That should be good. other guy. Got, uh, what, three more to do? Well, three more. That'll give us more dumping room, though, which is good. Whoa, stop. got our headers for the onions today. Three of them to go. Get the combines going on those things. Oh, right. So this guy will get a Another one. I wish I could just back these up a lot easier, but I gotta put the dolly under there. You know, it's just the way it works. I could hook it right onto the back trailer, but I can't back all that up. So the way she works. Yeah, I like this truck. It wasn't too bad. Was it this one? I can't remember now. I think it was pretty good. It's a little tight down here, though, for, um... A little bit tight down here. I 
the guy's turning and stuff, it makes it a little bit snug. Sure, it parked too close. All right, it looks like the onions are just about planted, so that's good. We can start our first growth stage after we get all these trailers done up. And uh, yeah, we do our first growth stage, get their second fertilization going. I think I'm gonna have to move that guy up there though. Well, they uh, almost ran out of onions, so that was pretty close. Those guys didn't seem too bad planting that, though. Not the fastest of tractors, this one, but I mean, it works pretty good. I'll let them go and plant for the afternoon, that's fine, right? All right, so I have to do that truck over there and that truck over there. So I got two more to do yet, but it's not been too bad. I'll just pluck this guy in here for right now. Get this guy just off the field. Oh, he was almost out, though. That guy, 5% left. That's pretty good. I did pretty good with that. That was pretty close. The other guy was like 17. He had a bit more, but... All right, I'll take this guy down after. I want to get these trailers on. And I guess we'll work on our first growth stage while we're kind of doing this. I just have to keep an eye on it here. It doesn't go dark on me because I don't want to be doing the trailers when it's pitch black out. Or we'll have to do it the next day. Yeah, so I think I got one too many dollies because I forgot I had one from before here. So that's right. We can sell one back or just keep it or whatever we're going to do with it. Oh, smashed into the header. Whoops. Whoops. All right. So we'll go to, I guess, the other guy here. Should stay on my side of the road. Go way across the field there, but I'm not going to cut through the field. And whenever we get our first growth stage started, we'll get the fertilizer going. And uh, then I think I'm going to take a little break to let that guy do all that up. Don't know whether to put the big sprayer in or just let the fertilizer guy up. Maybe I'll put the big sprayer in. 
Seems to work pretty good. Oh, there we go. Our onions. All right, let's get a sprayer going. Let's get the sprayer going. Should be way down here. Should be this one. Get our fertilizer going and uh, then we'll be good to get those things grown. I don't know what they're gonna look like. Should be kind of neat though. Then we gotta get our, our uh, new headers on our machines as well. This thing fill in. Got to make sure I get this in the right spot here because uh, it might hit that truck down there. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, what, what are we doing here? Will that can come off this thing. Go on the new trailer. Good. And we'll hook this trailer on the train. Trailer train. Truck trailer train. It's got a nice backup light that comes on too. That's kind of cool. We'll be able to use that too often, but there we go. Let's straighten them out. All right. Look at the little onions, aren't they cute? <laughs> no, I want the little truck. All right. Well, we got one left to do. And our trailers will be all good and squared up. And then uh, let this guy continue to fertilize. And I'll take a little break and we'll come back and buy all our uh, grain wagons. Get tractors hooked up to them so they're all good and they have their own puller and uh, I don't know what tractor yet we're gonna put onto them but we'll find something something that uh, is you know fairly fairly biggish maybe into a John Deere or something I haven't ran too much John Deere stuff so I want to get something else going Last but not least. Last but not last, but it is last. Last. All right. So the guy on the very south end or whatever end that is, east end. Looks like we're gonna have a night cycle, so we'll probably be harvesting the next day tomorrow at probably be after lunch time-ish, I would sort of think by the looks of things now, depending on how long it takes for these things to grow. Hopefully it's not too super long.
Good old Smoky Mac, though. Boy, I remember some of the old girls that would just just belting out black smoke. Like, oh man, it's sure a lot different than uh, today's trucks that we're driving. You can uh, look at the the pipes on uh, pipe tips on them. At, you know, like after a year after it's new, and they're still like shiny clean. That's how clean they're running now. These def systems are a pain in the ass. Pardon my French, but they are. But they actually work really good. They do clean the air, so keep the air clean, right? So, pardon my French. All right. There you go, Mac. That'll make you work. Excellent. All right, we are good. So yeah, let that guy um, drive this guy back. We'll drive the other tractor back. So he's, he's probably in the way actually now that I think about that. Actually, let's go get him out of the way up here. Yeah. Uh, and that trailer is probably going to be in the way too. I bet. <laughs> Guaranteed. I have to move that too. Um, so yeah, we'll, uh, I'll take a little break here now after we get this all sorted out. Yeah, he's in the way too now. Okay. I'll let him pass. I'm going to turn this truck around. Park close to the, uh, the fencing barricade thingy there, whatever that thing's called. Guardrail. I think it's guardrail. All right, hopefully that's all right. Actually, you know what? Just I'm gonna pull up closer. And I'm right out of his way. That should be good. Okay, now we can put this away. And yeah, I'm gonna take a little break. So when I come back, we'll uh, we'll buy all our uh, trailers, the uh, grain carts, wagons, whatever you want to call them, and tractors to boot with them. But I don't know what we're gonna put on it yet. Something fairly decent, I think. So I'm not fighting. Fighting, we'll say. So, but anyways. All right, we're bringing the diesel truck back. Park him somewhere. Uh, worked pretty good, but uh, pretty hard on that trailer trying to haul that. But anyways, we've got some eggs in, uh, over here that we probably should be taken. Taken somewhere. It's not a whole lot yet, but it's getting close. We'll leave it here for now. All right, I will be right on back, and uh, we'll go and buy our uh, green carts. We'll see you in two seconds. Here we go. All right, we are back. Let's grab our wagons. Uh, they should be over here. Auger wagons. I've got like seven or six or seven or 19 of them or something. I can't remember. Um, we've got quite a few of them. We're going to try. So this one is Ansberger. It only holds 46,000 though, which kind of sucks. So that kind of sucks. Uh, so that's the first one. Let's see. Can we change? Well, that's not much good. I can't see in there. I guess we'll go no protection wall. No stickers. Green shoot. Oh, it's got like a little pistol-y thingy. I'm going to go green shoot. We all set up. Eh, it doesn't really matter. 
Oh, stickers. Stickers, stickers. They want $580 for stickers? I'll go no stickers. Because <laughs> I'm cheap. Okay, so that one. And I think it's this one right now we're using. Then we got a Blazer 2000. 2 dollars for that. Ah, oh, it's okay. So we'll buy that and uh sure I didn't uh show you how much that one held. So that one holds 70,500. Then we got this one that holds 2 million. I don't know if I have a vehicle, maybe Big Bud. <laughs> that's going to be able to tow that one. Well, let's get her anyway. So, we'll set up... Look at the wheels on it. Holy man, that's a trailer on its own. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't know if this is going to be too good, but anyways. Oh, wait a minute. Standard extension. 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 Okay, so 185000 for the normal one. Or a million for that one. I think I'm going to do that one. Wide tires. Let's do wide tires. Yeah, that's good. Okay, we'll buy that one. Boy, that holds a lot, doesn't it? And then we got this one, Mother Bins. That holds... Actually, I've got a few Mother Bins here. This one holds 124,185 and then 247. Kind of looks like that last one in a sort of a way, but we'll give her a shot anyways. Oh, what do we want here? Uh, can you see it? Uh, ball hitch, pin hitch. I don't think it really matters. Uh, rim color, wide tires. Yeah, sure. Okay, we'll go with that. 247,000 liters that holds. Uh, so yeah, I got three of those. I'm just going to do that one. I've got these ones, but I'm not going to do them, I don't think, because I think they actually have to go on something. We've got uh, a Crone that holds 125,000. Crone trailer hitch. Oh, we could put on extra one. So I kind of like that idea, but for now, I'll just do that. We all set up wide tires. Yeah. And it uh, holds 125,000. And I think I got one more. A Rickajigger, Rickajigger, thingy. Sure. Hold 60,000. Okay, so we'll get that. All right, I love spending money. <laughs> oh, boy. Look at them all out here. There's going to be all kinds of them. Oh, she's lagging a bit till she draws in. So look at the size of that thing. <laughs> this one's even bigger, I think. Holy jeez. So we're going to need some fairly beefy tractors, and we're going to make them all the same. So it's all fair. So one, two, three, four... Five tractors we need. Okay. Tractors. And let's go large tractor. Now, I don't want to go stupid huge, but... Looks like we're... 269 horse. Oh, I can't have it that color. And can we make it? Um, okay, so right now we're 100 and 269 horse. Three hundred seventy-five horse. Okay, so we'll do that times five. Just regular wheels. So one, two, three, four. Five. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to just go to the store and say, yeah, you have the 7290s. Can you get me five of those? <laughs> now, should we put weights on the front of that? Maybe we should. 
Maybe we should. Now I've got to find them, though. Should be under weights. There it is. And... Lots of weights. That's 3,300 kilograms. I don't know whether I get 3,300, but maybe that's 2,400. Okay. All right. We are ready to go there. We'll get the to get this going here, and uh, while we're hooking things up, she'll get growing for us. I don't know where all the tractors went. Oh, isn't that a beautiful sight? There they are. All right. So we got some major trailer action for you today. Should be awesome, but I think I'm going to need a big bud maybe for those things. These might not have enough power. Okay, Rick at Chigadur is all hooked up. And she got dark real fast. So what we'll do is do a couple of loads with each one here. I'll just get them kind of uh, ready to go and stacked up over here. Let's grab another tractor. Wow, that thing is massive. <laughs> the trailer on its own. Where did all my other weights go? I think there's one here. I think it's the other way around. That's all right. We can just do this. I think my color perception's kind of off. Fertilizer 100%, okay. Boy, those look like carrots. Um, I don't know, it just looked to me like that wasn't the right blue, but now that I look at it, yeah, it looks like the dark blue. Okay, so there we go. All right, so we'll grab this guy. I don't know where my other weights went. They must be up with the tractors. Anyways. Yeah, we need to get our uh, combines up here. We need to get our combines up here. Okay, where are those the weights there? I'm still missing two, though. Interesting. I know I bought them, so they're here somewhere. They're here somewhere. I think. Okay, so let's say this is kind of a medium-sized one here. Three axle. It's a nice size one, actually. But I was really liking that idea, that crone that we could actually hook a couple more maybe on the back of. All right. So where did I not buy enough weights? Oh, they've got to be here somewhere. Oh, there's another one. I... All right, we'll hook to this big feller. I don't know why the other one's parked that way. Oh, never mind. We got a crone here. Oh, there's the other weight there. Okay, so I think I'm short, though. 
Need two more tractors yet. facing the other way. So we need one more tractor, one more weight. I don't know how I miscounted that. I must have, whoa, I must have uh, lost one of the trailers in behind one of these behemoths. Oh, the size of this thing, that's just ridiculous. Well, that's kind of cool how it steers though. front tires on the back of that trailer just get ripped right to shreds though. I can tell you that right now, but that's kind of neat. That's pretty cool. Wow, there's a big space in there. <laughs> okay, so we need another tractor and another weight. that and we got to put that to 2 355 and change the colors because that's just not right okay now we should be good I think it's right there <laughs> Weights right beside us, that's perfect. All right, get the big behemoth on. That's what I should've been called, behemoth. <laughs> oh wow, it's got a flip open guy like that too. So, That'll be interesting trying to, uh, even the back ones steer. The back ones are steering there too, that's cool. All right, let's just close that up for now. We'll just have to make sure we come on the right side. Should be fine, but. Wow, we got some trailers to try today. Good day for onions. All right. Well, let's see if we can find our combines here. Got so much stuff. There's one. Go up and get our headers mounted. And uh, get them in position. I guess we can get this open now. Oh, I went the wrong way and I crashed. <laughs> Well, let's go up and get. This lights are terrible on this signal, but she'll soon be daytime. Let's not crash into the trailers. Let's see where we are in our growth stages. Uh, we're about there, so we've got a little bit to go yet. And by the time we get these things going and in the right position, we should be good. Oh yes, I forgot these things. Barely picked them up off the ground. Ooh. I should really just put in a building over here. Put all the headers in one building and then the machines here in the other building. That kind of makes sense, but safe driving them back and forth like this all the time. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think those onions are going to take a wee while, though they're not really sprouted too much. Oh, I turned the time down this way. Why did I do that? I don't know. I wonder why it wasn't getting right out. Oh, I know why, because I didn't think I had it fertilized. Right. We're good, so we could have been harvesting by now. <laughs> but that's alright. That'll give us a bit of time to get this stuff over here. Look at the rain. Perfect time. That's what we needed for the to get the onions to grow nice. All right, we'll get this guy in position. As I crash into the tree and smash I hit her a lot. Nice job. <laughs> it's alright. Oh, she's really raining now. The wiper's really screaming. Couldn't get her going much quicker than that. Alright, we should be able to keep up to the guys today, I would say, with these uh, rain bins we got going on here. I'm hoping that crone works out good, though. Because I'd like to maybe hook two or three of them together. Alright, that's good. It's just pouring rain. Better inside here. Hook up the last header here. this guy in position. Onion, yeah, I was going to say, mm, that's the right one. <laughs> I hope so after all that. All right, 5 a.m. raining. Ugh. Ugh. Get this guy somewhere in about the middle of the field there. Uh, I'm gonna go over the field here. A little bit bigger, I think. We probably won't see the onion, really. It'll just be the green stuff coming up. The leaves. Onion leaves. Alright, so we go to about where that six is. Um, which is about. I'm actually going to go a little further this way this time. In anticipation that. Uh, yeah, anticipation that this guy here will work towards the other guy. You know what I mean? He probably won't. He'll probably come towards that guy this time. But anyway, she's raining. We got some growth. And uh, I think we're kind of a long way off. We're about that one there now, I think. So we're getting there. And the rain is dissipating, I think. like we're going to be into the well into the day here until this is ready to harvest. Just 
to a second to last green there, so. Oh, there's another one. They look like onions. Actually, that's pretty good. Really? Oh, ready to remove tops. All right, I shouldn't have left the machines there then. All right, here we go. Let's dig out these onions. Awesome. So this guy, I'm going to start over just a little more here. This guy. Get him going. And we'll grab. Oh boy, that's buried. Which one are we going to take first? Are we going to do. Cola Man, Mother Bins. Crone, Blazer, Rakhachir, Hensberger, or Broman. Broman. That's a mother bin too, but they are a little different. Um, well, until they kind of get ahead of us, let's start maybe with this five to one. Now I can't remember. I can't remember how much these things held. Fair bit. That should be uh, totally. Yeah. If I can get into it, we can maneuver that a little bit. And the other one should be. Yeah. That goes down a long way. Let's check out them hydraulics. Alright, I'll well, sh shut that shoot down for now. Kinds of hydraulics on there, super awesome. Even a light on there, that's good. We should have lots of trailers. I think between all our transport truck trailers and all these binster things here, we should have enough for the whole field, I think. Might be close and it might be tight, but uh, we'll see what happens. Where did that guy go? I told you he would go back that way. <laughs> oh man, that's not the way I wanted him to go. Oh well. If I catch him at the other end, maybe we'll get him to come back the other. I wanted him to go towards the other guy, actually. That uh, didn't work though. So we'll start off by doing a load in each one. Uh, kind of see which one we kind of like. I, I, I kind of like this one so far. Let's see how it works. Out. Okay, well there's a full load, 46,000. So that's not bad. Dumps out not too badly fast. That's the problem I didn't like with the other one. 
Williams, it took forever to dump out. Still taking a little bit, but. All right, that one's not bad. It's not bad. What I'm gonna do is, uh, unfortunately, I'm gonna drive across the field just for saving time. And uh, grab the next one. And just while this guy's coming up here, Switch and make it go this way. Okay. So this one wasn't bad. If it was held a little more, that'd be nice. It's 46,000, it's not a lot. Uh, it doesn't hardly dump out those combines. But that is something that I can adjust if I wanted to uh, adjust the capacity. We have to, we could. Um, okay, so that one's good. Let's take out the crone here next. Now, yeah, someone's full over the layer. The guy was turned around. This guy's probably going to be full here soon. least it should be. It's kind of weird that he's not, but anyways, we'll zip over to this guy. And like I say, and I know I went through how much these things held, but I don't remember now, so we'll have to see when they fill up. Line there a bit. My bad, I shouldn't have that thing up. I guess I just kind of wanted to see it. Okay, so 125,000, now that's not bad. If we uh, hooked a few of them together, that'd be actually pretty good. Let's go try his dump here and see how fast that is. Seems like it's really high, the spout for some reason. I have to put it down every time, that would kind of suck. Yeah, not too sure if I like that, but dumps out fairly quick. Kind of like that. I guess I gotta get used to that nozzle. All right, that one's not bad. I I, I don't mind that one. The size isn't too bad. If I hooked a couple of them together, maybe. 125. Yeah. Yeah, I might just bump that up to maybe a uh, 150 or something. But too bad. So this guy here has got to be full. And that guy's full over there. So let's we'll leave the big guys till the end here.
because they'll be like our finishing up kind of thing. So let's do <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Takes way too long to dump out, I think. That's not good. All right, so while he's doing that, <laughs> well, we won't be using that one, I'll tell you that one right now. Let's grab the blazer here, we'll go across the other guy. Blazer 2000. It doesn't even have a cover sheet for the top. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it does. Oh, no, it doesn't. All right. How's the Blazer 2000 work? Blazer. Blazer 2000. Well, so far, it's too tall for this combine. So I don't like how you have to specifically come exactly one way every time to dump it, so... Oh, I don't like this one at all. What is going on here with this thing? Change that at all? Nope. Well then. The only way around that is. This might not even work. Wow. Piece of junk. <laughs> Seventy thousand five hundred. Absolutely do not like this one. Not for my combine here, anyways. So, we'll be taking this one right back and selling it. It dumps out fast, so I must say, just done. I think, if you like that, that's the only good feature of this whole trailer. So, I am going to take this one right back. 
get rid of it. Only used once. The two mother bins. I think I like this one better already because it has just like the whole top open. Uh, but we'll see. Let's go to this guy here first. They should definitely call them big mother bins. <laughs> Anyways, hopefully it fits under here. All right, looks like it's going to be pretty close. Dump him right out. Yep, that's good. Alright, I don't know. I might have to hook a big bud to this guy, though. Uh, so I already feel the weight. <laughs> it's only 10% full, too. Let's check out the spout. Nothing fancy there, mostly just average. Yeah, I can uh, I can feel the weight already. It's pretty heavy. That guy's gonna be pretty much to the other end, so we'll just head down here. Five axle on the back, four on the front. I can't believe that. Muzzle is. Put axles the whole way down. <laughs> so we're averaging 43, 44. Oh, we are building up some speed. It's actually weird, it's pushing me off or something. I'll try to load some more in the back here now. Oh yeah, I'm feeling her now. Ooh. <laughs> uh oh. Might have to switch to a big bud here. She just can't drag her out of the corner. Once those tires start turning. Uh oh. I'm going to go until I can't drag it, anyways. I don't think it's going to be too much more, though. I'll have to go get big. But the biggest tractor I got, anyways. Come on, baby. Oh, no. Uh oh. Two loads in there, too, but complete. I think Big Bud would be all right to do this, to get under there and stuff. Not right in the middle. Now, probably are not going to be able to pull this. Let's just try to get it off here. 
Oh, <laughs> I can't turn at all. Uh oh. Just want to try to get her off the side here. If I get it back over. Oh yeah, that's that's not good. Well. Let's unhook that for now. We'll go over and get Bud. It's not enough tractor. Now, mind you, that is like a massive, huge trailer, though. <laughs> like, huge. And I think Bud and that other weird monster tractor, or whatever it's called, is hooked to the plows right now. So. Let's plunk this in here. Probably going to just keep these things for now. We only got one more crop left. And then we might do some fan favorite crops, we'll say. Whatever you guys have liked the most here, whatever crop we did, we uh, will do again for you. There's a whole bunch of them, so. All right, Budrick, hopefully you can hook to this thing. Should hopefully be able to, but there's no PTO on the back of Bud here. So I'm not too sure if this is gonna work or not. Give her a shot. There we go. Oh, even Buttrick's having a problem pulling it. No. Really? Wow. I've never seen Big Bud do a wheelie before. He was kind of jumping there a little bit. Once we get him moving, it's all right. But maybe it's something to do with those steer tires. I don't really know. The other guy's over there, and he's full. Well, it's kind of acting funny, isn't it? Which means that the other one's probably going to act funny, too. pulling me weird. It's not really hooked on. Kind of right there when I steer it kind of comes out. <laughs> but let's load them. We're only 30% loaded. Holy cow. I might have to bring the trucks over here. Bring the trucks to this thing maybe. That one that's a million, which was that one. The yellow one over there, it could have got a million out of that one. I don't know how that would have been. Oh, he's really messing up. Interesting, he doesn't want to turn left. Well, that's not looking good. Uh, I can't uh, can't steer. So we'll put that one in the garbage can, <laughs> essentially, and uh, we'll bring the truck over tit to get it dumped out. So at least I can move it. Oh, is this one right empty. It's got some in it. Okay, this is the Peterbilt. I like this one. It seemed to haul pretty good. But it's still good. With three trailers on. I don't know. Well, we'll see how fast this thing dumps out anyways. And not super fast. It's not terrible slow, though.
get a good shot. There we go. Okay, that's got to be it. And I am thinking that this other mother bin, unless it's been kind of redone, it, I mean, it, maybe it's worse. I don't know. Could be worse too. Hopefully not. But I like that Peterbilt. Now this mother bin's going in the mother dumpster bin. We'll get rid of them kind of work too good. I don't know, maybe it's messing up too because of the articulating of Big Bud there. Maybe it doesn't like that or something, but I know the other one steered all all axles, so maybe it'll be better. This one, the, the back ones are rigid. Probably not a good thing. All right, let's get rid of that. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. So I'm going to start right off with Big Bud on the other one, I think. Just from that experience, probably not a bad idea. I don't think that tractor is going to be able to pull it. Let's go grab, grab Mother Bin 2. This is the one with that funny door on the top, so we gotta make sure we can only go on one side. It's right there I'm not crazy about, but let's uh, check out the other aspects of it. So yeah, we're gonna be going towards the combine, which is kind of weird can't come in this way to him. We have to come in the other way. Or no, so we're going with the combine. That sort of does make sense, but I like to come in this way if I could too sometimes, right? Now we can so with this one. So. This is the one I think that I could get up to like a lot of capacity. So far it seems to be tracking pretty good. That's not going to work, is it? Well. Just kind of jam it in there. So we got three loads in that other mother bin, and then it was uh, undrivable. This one, I don't think we're going to get quite that much into it. guy. Oh, it's going to be the same problem. I can already tell. I can already tell. It's going to be a nightmare. Too many wheels. Even though they all are steering. Which is helping a little bit, but it could be the articulation of Big Bud that it maybe doesn't like. But uh, I think we got our answer. <laughs> Mother bins are junk. too tall for these combines anyways just just a bit too tall and they 
steer horribly. But anyways, I'll try to get it up to that uh, truck there anyways and dump it out. See if we can get it up here. That spout, it's got a nice long spout though, I must say, that's a good part of it. Not nice for steering. shoot either. It's interesting. It doesn't do anything. Fairly slow to dump out too. Really slow to dump out. Holy mother. <laughs> well, there's only a couple I really like. Uh, this one... <laughs> I think was too tall. That's uh or it didn't hold much or dumped out dumped out slow, that's right. That's right, so we'll get rid of this one too. So I've only got two that I really like here. And all those green bins. Anyways, that's alright. That's why we're testing. shot again. I think it was fairly tall too, but it seemed to hold a fair bit. I could actually hook on another one on the back here if we wanted to. Maybe we'll try that too. hook on the red one. Should have done that while I was up there. Hook on the red one. Oh yeah, this is the one I had to maneuver the chute too, which... It's not too bad, but it's nice to kind of memorize where I, where I had it. I should be able to hook that red one to the back of this. I'm thinking. Oh, let's give her a shot. go. A nice little tandem. That'll work good. That'll give us a fair bit of capacity. Hopefully this tractor will pull that. Should, but who knows. Okay, I thought I seen someone need an empty out. That guy's almost full. I think that guy's still moving too over there. This guy just dumped out. Be good for a minute, so we'll zip across to this guy. I think it was 80 percent.
see if I can. Yeah, we're good. All right, I'm happy with that. Try to keep this guy going here. Seventy-one thousand. Nice. Okay, let's see now if we get both dump out at once. So that one's got to go down, and then oh, that's weird. Actually, I didn't have to change trailers there. They did it both <laughs> on the one movement there. That was weird. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's pretty cool. Okay, that mother bin is done. We're gonna just fire it out of here because that was just, both of them were just terrible. Good. Bye. All right. Something's almost full again. Probably the first guy way over there. This actually works pretty good. Three of these maybe together would be good too, but I like that crone one. This back one's not too bad either. Might not be bad to get um, maybe three of them hooked up. Can really get some fields going then. I, I, I'd like to try to plow this road in ahead of us here. I don't know if it'll allow me to though or not. Again, I gotta be way over here. I'm used to getting closer to him, but he's got no big, big header on, so. anything in these trailers yet. Trying to use the controls is weird. working pretty good. Yeah, I'd like to get this plowed into that field. Wow, it'd be a long field, wouldn't it? Oh, I don't think it's going to let me do that road, though. That's the problem with that. I, I don't believe it would let me do that. So, looking at the field, what we got left here, I don't think we're going to need all our trailers. The cabbages, I think, built up faster, I guess, and they are a bigger thing, so. But for next week, cabbage, regular, what do you call it, green cabbage, will be our, uh, our next last one. And then, uh, like I was asking, if you guys like something particular that we did, we can do uh, this great big field with it uh, the following weeks. 
revisit some of those ones we did. That'd be all right. Cabbage is next week. We're definitely going to need uh, all our trailers, I think. I'm coming, bud. I'm on my way. So that one, that truck up there, and that's which one that is now. That one and one of the other and I don't think we're going to really need today. Square enough. Oh, there we go. Sweet! I can't believe I can do that. That's awesome. Dumping two into one. <laughs> I don't know why that gets me excited, but that's kind of cool. Alright, so this truck, I think, is full. So we might need that one up here yet. Maybe. That works pretty good. I like that. I'm pretty happy with these two. I think if we made our field longer that way, which we'd have to buy that field and then see if it'll let me plow that in. It's I, I doubt it'll let me plow that road, but uh, we'll give it a shot maybe. Let's see if it will. Uh, I I would really don't think it's going to let me. It's nice I can actually keep up to these guys today. Mind you, uh, cabbage will probably be different for next week. See, we'll probably build up a lot faster than the onions do. Not sure if I like having to adjust that every time, but it's not that bad. Oh, you're dumping on the road there, bud.
quite a full trailer. This uh, seems to be hauling it pretty good too. And I could put three of these on, but I think two is actually not bad. I'm working really good. Stop, I'm coming. Get the spout out now. Oh. I'm saving ya. Keep going to get way better productivity. Oh, I missed him. Alright, so that truck's full, then we'll move to that one, I guess. I believe that one's right full. Still got three empties there. That one, I think, is pretty much full, too. I think. I can't remember now. Take a little more, except there's a tree right there. This shoot's funny, it looks like somebody's barfing. <laughs> Front one's empty. That middle trailer is full now. That one's empty. That's good. Little bit of room left in that one. Helper B should be this guy in the middle. Okay, so they just randomly give them a name like, oh, Fred's half 80% full. This guy either must be that first guy. That's the first guy. I 
can see them from here. Well, maybe while we're going by this guy, we'll get him to dump out. for a minute get a full trailer we'll take one. and I think we can get a little bit left in that one then we'll have to start up with that guy Hopefully that would have filled that up, but I think there's still a little bit of room left in it. I guess we'll start using this one here.
we're getting down to the wire here anyways, aren't we? Oh, don't push me over. This guy's nearly full. Forgetting about that. Oh, well, that'll work. This one's full. Well, that center one will take a bit. So that guy's full. I think this guy might have a better room on the end of the field here. Well, that guy has... That guy's full too now, I can't remember. <laughs> too many trucks, can't remember. a fair bit of room left. I think the first one's full though. Will be now. Still have a trailer and a little bit left down here. These guys are coming here, so get them to dump out and then probably end up filling this guy up. Maybe. Fairly close anyways. Actually staying fairly close together, these two fellers. Down and 
fill up those trailers at the other end there. It's right full now. this guy then. Good, good. And we have a collision. Oh, no, gonna sort it out. Yeah, there we go, I fixed it. swipe left so one of these guys when they're done we can pull them off should be only one swipe but it looks a bit wider guy down there is full, so we'll go down and get him, and then these guys will uh, figure it out, I'm sure. Or not, I'll have to fix it, probably. Alright, we'll pull her off. I think the other guy can handle it. Looks like he 
shaving her all off there. Yep, good. I guess we'll just pull this guy off. And uh, now these headers are are no good. We need to get uh, the other cabbage headers again. Different cabbage headers are going. I don't know why, but that's the way it is, I guess. But. So we can follow that up and get these ready for next week. Seems to work pretty good. Alright. That guy's doing that. We're almost full on this truck. Not quite. Will be in a minute, though. Still hold a little more. All right, that's probably this guy here. That other guy, when he gets up there, he'll be done. Well, I think that truck's up so much full up there. I can't remember now. Oh, this guy's almost full here. Helper B has completed his task. Completed their task because it is male and female in here. So you have to be collect correct about that. to just jump into this machine. Let's see if we got enough room to dump this. I think we do. There's still quite a bit of room yet. In this truck. Ooh, that would need some move stop. Okay, the first trailer's still empty, so lots of room. Away from me. Fold that up. I was going to take this one right back to the store. So it's closer for next week. That's good. Now this guy has got uh, at least one, two more swipes to do here. That's not bad. He's zipping along. It'll take a to do that. And we'll take the onions in next week when we're uh, planting this up and stuff.
ball goes well, he should end up at the other end of this field. Should. catch up. So what I'll do is um, what I'll do is uh, get filled here and then uh, let him go down and come back. We'll, we'll go dump these while he's doing that. And I like this setup actually. This has worked really, really well. All right, we are full. So our last dumping of this today. Um, I don't even, yeah, I guess we have some of that. I think we've used everything. Believe it or not, we've used everything. So let's just see here. This one is just about full. That one's just about full. That one is full. That one's still got quite a bit of room. This one I know is full. 99%. Alrighty then. That first boat way down, it seemed to work better that way. Yeah, I was really happy with this setup. It worked really well. Having the two of them like that, it's pretty darn slick. Even though the back one takes a little bit longer to dump out, but that's okay. We could put another crone on, get rid of this red one, but eh, works pretty good. All right. I was quite happy with that. So while we're ripping down here, let's uh, let's look through our stuff. I'm gonna get rid of that blue. Let's just start at the start here. I'm gonna get rid of that. Blue uh, auger wagon that we've been using for like a long time. Get rid of this one. And we can get rid of. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Onions. Carrots. Oh, I'm still using that one, I guess. Ah, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Look at that. We made her home just in time. I think I'm just going to leave these outside. Okay, well that guy's finishing up. It should be almost done. Little experiment we're gonna try with this thing. This crazy tractor. Uh, 
Um, all right. So we're going to have to buy this. All right. And I don't know whether it's going to let me plow the road here. Highly doubt it. Highly, 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 highly doubt it. But I'm willing to give it a shot. Yeah, no. So, that's the end of that. <laughs> that's all right. I could probably, and I haven't for a long time, uh, open an editor. Actually, you know what? What happens if... 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 Uh, we want to go... Painting. No, just will not let me do anything with that road. Jumps over it. Darn it. All right, well, scrap that idea. I was going to turn into a nice, huge, long field, but nope, not happening. While I got this guy out here, I might as well get the plowing started. This guy can rip along with the plow for a while. Probably not needing it, but between the week before and then the cabbages last week it uh, it needed it it's really strange doesn't even need lime this week but yeah it needs plowing again hmm. okay dude I don't know where you're going but that's not the right way all right well I definitely think add that extra trailer on each truck made a difference for us. Another five trailers, right? So that made a difference for us to be able to uh, store more of the stuff while we're going at it. So that should be good. I hopefully we can get it all into this truck up here. whole pile of room left, but there might be just enough. Maybe. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Ooh. Yeah. All right. Fold that guy up. There we go. I guess we are all done. Onions. That wasn't too bad at all, really. Definitely didn't like those two mother bins. They were just terrifically, horribly horrible. <laughs> That's even a phrase. So, yeah, they were not good. Really didn't like that other red one. blue one. Was it a blue maybe? I think it was a blue one. Really didn't like it. Yeah, really didn't like that other blue one. Those two mother bins, they were terrible. Don't even bother downloading them because they suck. All right, let's get rid of all this stuff. There we go. All right, our two combines are waiting for the cabbage for next week. That's what we're going to do. That is our last crop. So if you guys wanted to, if you wanted to see another 
go at another crop. Uh, just let me know. And uh, which one? Which ones you liked? We'll, we'll do them up. I'm gonna probably keep these tractors though. Maybe get rid of some of my other cases because they're getting a little older and stuff now. And yeah, next week we'll take the onions in. It's probably gonna be up to that restaurant plaza, I think it's called up there. Uh, would be kind of my guess. But I don't know. Don't know yet. Here. Take him home too. Oh, someone is blocked by an object. Probably that truck way up there. That truck is always in the way. <laughs> oh, I can't win. Anyways. Yeah, I'll probably replace those ones. Get rid of those case tractors. Well, might as well just leave that one there, actually. We can do that next week. All right, so thanks again for watching Farm Sim Saturday. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let's hook this guy up to here. So I think it's that one we've got to use for our cabbages. We've got two of them for planting now, which is really nice. Let's see here. Yeah, cabbage. All right, those are going to have to be all filled up. Now, what was the problem up here? Yeah, of course, it's this guy. All kinds of room to turn. Except I can't drive this tractor at all. Oh, crap. <laughs> well, that... What are you doing? Put your plow down. There. I think he's got her under control. Holy cow. Anyways, that's it for Farm Sim Saturday this week. Thanks again for watching. Of course, next week uh, is going to be Cabbage. That is our last crop out of here. We already did hemp, so hemp was the first one. So, yeah, just to recap, we did um, sugar cane, alfalfa, sorghum, clover, cherry, sudengrass, tobacco, black bean, peanuts, rice, coffee, mustard, carrot, onion, red cabbage. Hemp we did first, and then cabbage is our last for next week. So, any of those ones that you want to see again, put a little comment in the bottom there and say, oh, I like that uh, sudden grass, or I like the tobacco, or, or I want to see the hemp again. Let's just do the, uh, do the big field, because I know the first couple we did, like the alfalfa, sorghum, clover cherry, sudden grass, tobacco, black bean, I think it was in around peanut or rice or something maybe I can't remember now that we started into the big field here I don't really remember it's been too long anyways <laughs> catch us all next week thanks again for watching let me know in the bottom there what you want to see um, after the cabbage next week we'll do cabbage of course next week and then uh, whatever crops after that then after that uh, depending how many people vote for kind of what maybe we'll do a couple more weeks of, of that crop kind of thing and then uh, we'll move probably do a new map somewhere, somewhere different. Uh, I know there's lots of fields in here that I just haven't used. There's all kinds, well, you know, this is like the biggest one, but I might, maybe that field there might be nice to do something in, big long one there, but I mean, we're getting that here kind of thing, but I wish I could do that road, get rid of that road and then, but anyways. All right, gotta go. Thanks again for watching. Kit is all next week. You guys have a good one and uh, happy farming.